Well, Donna, Annamie Paul is not backing down. She sat through a marathon meeting Tuesday night of the Green Party's governing council. And at the end of that meeting, a motion passed by a narrow vote of five to four, ordering Paul to publicly rebuke one of her staff members for crossing swords with the MP that defected, that was Fredericton's Jenica Atwin, or Paul would face a non-confidence vote on July 20th that could put her job in peril. Well, Paul spent the day thinking about that threat and then rejected it. The plan of this small group of councillors who are on their way out did not succeed. Then, noting that she is the first black woman, the first Jewish woman to be elected to lead a federal party, she rejected the attempt by those five councillors to, as she put it, make her conform to special rules. I do not need a bespoke set of rules established for me. And I haven't asked for any special accommodation, but I am seeking the same freedom to, uh, to um, lead and fulfill my role as leader of the Green Party on behalf of our members. Collaboration and, and collegiality does not mean bowing down. It doesn't mean being brought to heel. Strong words, David. So she's defiant in the face of this attempted mutiny by some in the party. What happens next? Well, this governing council is going to meet again on July the 20th. And if they want to make good on this threat to hold a no-confidence vote and kick Paul out, well, a three-quarters majority will be required at that meeting. And I, th I think Paul has looked at the numbers, and she is convinced that she has enough support on the council to defeat that vote. And she probably wants to end this spat pretty quickly because, you know, as you know, her big task is readying the Greens for a potential general election late this summer, maybe in the fall. And if she cannot strengthen the Greens, well, that would be a net benefit for other parties. In eastern Canada, Justin Trudeau's Liberals worry about losing votes to a Green surge. In the West, and especially in B.C., it's Jagmeet Singh's NDP that is vulnerable to the Greens. So a lot at stake here for all parties as Paul tries to get control of her own party. Donna? David Aiken in Ottawa, thank you.